Plants and memories are being uprooted in Hazlitt at the senior living complex Grange Acres. People living there say they've been trying to have conversations for weeks with their management about keeping their flowers after getting a notice in early May that they had to be removed. Yes, McCoy Scribner spoke with community members clearing out their plants today. He's here for you now with more. McCoy. Those meetings, rallies, and questions that have been circulating for more than a month at Grange Acres. As people who live at the complex tell me, they still haven't received a good answer as to why they're being forced to remove their personal gardens. It's destruction. Um, it, I feel very upset um, most of the days that I look at and I just see soon to be wood chips. A notice just last month initially gave residents more than a couple weeks to dig out their flower beds. While the original deadline was set for May 31st, people say the housing management allowed some extra time with their gardens if they asked for it. We were given a two week extension if we applied for it, and so that would be officially today. That's why shovels, clippers, and dirt could be seen all around the community as people scrambled to clean up their areas. Why are they taking the, the, the advantage point of taking us, our, our rights away of what we put our work into and how stressful this can be. Repeated phone calls, gatherings, and even letters of support from lawmakers haven't changed anything. And now all eyes are on the management company First Housing Corporation to make a change. We weren't looking for a fight. We were looking only for a conversation. And, uh, and we weren't denied a conversation. We were, we were totally ignored. And we weren't asking for anything only that they grant what, what has been granted to the residents here for 20 years. And that's a little bit of space to grow a little bit of plants and flowers. Residents say as they'll soon be looking at what used to be a stunning area, they'll always remember who turned their beautiful flowers and plants into dirt. It, it's very apparent that um, corporate uh, interest is revered and valued over human quality of life. I contacted First Housing Corporation for a comment or even questions as to why they're continuing their plans, but nobody in their office today was able to give me any answers. Back to you.